Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. I don't know if anyone's about. I don't normally do lives into this particular group, but I wanted to share something with you guys quickly today. So if you're watching this in replay, um, hey Fee, just um, yeah, tap replay down the bottom if you're coming in on replay, or if not, just jump in and yeah, give me a like or a love. Um, firstly, so I know that you can hear me, that would be lovely. So, um, yeah, I'll just get started. This is just going to be quick. Excuse the hair. Hey, Fee. Um, I cannot do my hair since since I had it done the other day, but yeah, whatever. This is a private group, so no one's going to see me, so this is great. Um, apart from the lovely ladies, actually, that are part of this group. So, I just wanted to share with you all... Um, I just had an amazing consultation with a lady uh, via Zoom. Um, her name is Lara, and she is the author of um, The Jade Egg. Um, and she's also had a documentary called The Pelvic Floor Strength. So a little bit about my story. Um, I've had four children, for those that um, that don't know. And... Since number number four, and you don't actually need to have had children to have a lot of these issues, a lot of this happens as we get older, but I have um, a prolapse, so it's not just a, a vaginal prolapse, we're talking, you know, the, um, the bladder um, and the bowel, it affects it all. I'm lucky that I still have um, control over my bladder, so I don't have those issues as yet, um, but hey, you never know. So I have been tinkering with the idea of having surgery, um, having everything removed and everything reconstructed and hey, let's just get a brand new vagina. Um, but at, in saying that, that's a major operation and um, you know, it's six to eight weeks recovery. Um, you know, apart from the fact that I almost died the last time I had surgery from the anesthetic. So, you know, I'd kind of like to avoid death if I can. So I reached out to this lady about 11 months ago and um, you know, she told me that she could help me and you know, a lot's happened in the last 11 months. I just wasn't in the, you know, the right frame of mind. I probably really should have followed through then. But anyway, so I've reached out to this lady again and she met with me on Zoom and we just had this amazing, enlightening experience. Um, now, I've been to pelvic floor physios. I have been to clinical Pilates where they teach you things about the pelvic floor and um, let me just say what I have been taught has been not correct. So Lara actually knows 20 exercises that she can teach you with the pelvic floor like to move it in certain ways and you know to re-strengthen everything and to correct a prolapse and all of this stuff. Um, now, in chatting to her, I said, you know, I've got a lot of women on this group. I know I'm not the only one that has a lot of these issues. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm getting personal with, um, but, you know, hey, we're women. This is what happens. Let's just get real. Stop, you know, let, let's just talk about what it is that our bodies, you know, do and don't do. You know, there's no more need for embarrassment and to be, you know, pretending, you know, all this stuff doesn't happen. Like, it freaking happens. So... Anyway, I was chatting to this lady and I just said, um, you know, I'd love, I, I know a lot of the ladies on this group here are down in Brisbane. She is actually based up in um, Noosa Sunshine Coast, but I've spoken to her and said, you know, if sometime this year, if I can get a group of women together, you know, would she come down and, you know, teach us all of these, you know, techniques and um, she said, absolutely. So it'll be about uh, three hours. Um, so there'll be like a... Um, she likes to do like a bit of a, a talk as well as, you know, the instructional things. This is a, um, no one gets naked. No one is showing their little vagina bits to everybody. This is, you know, you're fully clothed. Um, it's a non-movement. So it's not like you jump around and do all those kind of exercises. These are the internal exercises um, that she'll teach um, either sitting, standing, uh, laying down. I'm not sure how she'll, how she'll do that. But... 
I just wanted to see like a show of hands of who would actually be interested if she was to come down and obviously there will be a cost in, involved, um, but who would be interested in learning more about you know, the pelvic floor and doing the exercises properly and correcting some of these issues if you're like me and you've got the same um, you know, concerns and issues, she can completely reverse that um, and prevent a lot of unnecessary surgeries um, from happening even if you've already had these surgeries and you're still having issues as well with the pelvic floor um, even if you don't have issues I think just learning to strengthen your pelvic floor can actually increase libido um, one thing I learned today that the pelvic floor is actually you know your center and I must say after doing these exercises it was such a spiritual enlightening thing that you do actually feel a lot different and oh, it's just so interesting talking to her on her take of she's a very spiritual lady and um, you know how as women we hold a lot of our emotions and our stresses and everything comes from the pelvic floor she said next time you're having an argument or you're stressed out she said we're all taught you know, that we bear down and we, you know, we hold all our aggression and everything in our pelvic floor. And when she said that, and I thought about the last argument that I'd had with, um, with someone, I thought, you know what, that, that's right, we do. We get all tense and we just automatically push down. And that is what causes, apart from gravity when we get older, that's what causes everything to start you know, falling down um, as it does. Anyway, so I've rambled on a little bit uh, longer than expected but if you can give me a like or a love if this is something that you would be interested in attending um, sometime this year we're just going to get some numbers together first and then um, figure out everything else from that but if you'd be interested in in coming along um, yeah just give me a like give me a love shoot me a message put a comment I, I, I don't care I just want to see um, yeah if this is something that other ladies apart from myself will be interested in um, I'm gonna keep working with her one-on-one -on -one at the moment um, via zoom and which she does do as well so if you are wanting a one-on-one -on -one, um, you know like a mobile consultation I could definitely put you in touch with her for that as well anyway have a good day